What's going on, everyone? I had a chance to go down to a company called Uncontained Living in Alvin, Texas, and check out their selection of new container homes. If you've never seen one of these, they're pretty interesting. Let me know what you think. Could you live in 320 square feet? Drop a comment below if you could. So these are built brand new right here in Alvin, Texas. They're made using only brand new shipping containers, so you don't have to worry about getting one that's been hauling toxic chemicals for the last 10 years. These things are extremely durable. They're made to ride around on container ships in some of the worst conditions on the planet. So with regular maintenance, they should last you a very long time. And the uses with these things are endless. You could obviously live in it. You could use it as a guest house. You could use it as an outdoor office. You could put it on a trailer and use it as an RV. Or some people are even buying existing RV parks and converting them into tiny home communities. So let's take a look around inside this thing and let me know what you think. So the first one we're going to look at here, this one is called the Lucy. This is one of the base model homes and both the ones we're going to look at today, they are for sale. They are model homes, but this one is priced at around $70,000. We'll check out the bathroom here. Not a huge bathroom, uh, pretty basic. You would need a shower rod and a curtain with this one. It's got the stand-up shower. You do also have the option of doing a tub if that's something you like. The nice thing about these homes, especially if you're getting one custom built, is you can do them in pretty much any floor plan or layout or with any upgrades that you want. If you want windows in certain places, that's probably something they could accommodate. If you don't want a, a separate bedroom, like you just want an open studio, that's something they can do. And we'll check out the kitchen here. Uh, not a whole lot of upgrades in this one. It's got the shelves with the reclaimed wood, uh, kind of a shallow sink. It's got a two burner cooktop. It's got the butcher block counters and it's extended there at the end, uh, intended you could use it as like a desk. So the living room in this obviously isn't giant. It's definitely big enough though. You could put a full size couch and watch TV comfortably. It's got the connections here where you could mount the TV over the fireplace. And of course, it's not a real fireplace. It's an electric space heater. And the gentleman that worked here told me it looks very convincing at night, so that's pretty cool. It's got a sliding barn door going into the bedroom and it does have a ceiling fan. So the bedroom in this uh, obviously is not gigantic. I think you might be able to fit a full size bed in here, but it's gonna eat up a ton of your space. You'd probably be better off with uh, like a twin size bed. And there's no closet in here. He did tell me that Ikea makes a really cool small closet to put your clothes in that fits perfectly against that wall. And that's gonna be the biggest challenge with any of these small homes, tiny homes, container homes, is just figuring out where to put all your stuff. Uh, there's no closets anywhere in here, so it would probably help if you had an outside storage unit or maybe like a detached garage to keep things. This is the second home. This one has a ton of upgrades. It's called the Kimberly. It's got the two sliding doors on the outside, and you can see there where they mounted the mini split for the air conditioner. So the kitchen on this one has a lot of upgrades. It's got this really nice deep sink. It's got the spray wand. It's got a four burner cooktop. It's got a microwave built in that also doubles as a convection oven. In the bathroom, we've got the stand up shower and this one does have the glass enclosure. And we also have a combination washer and dryer unit. Uh, that one does both things. You could also do a stackable washer and dryer, but that's gonna eat up more space. And there's enough room above here. You could definitely put more cabinets to have more storage. We got this cool light up vanity and a nice sink here. So we'll step back out into the kitchen here. We do have this really nice backsplash and we also have the cabinets above the countertop so you have a lot more room to store your dishes and it's a lot cleaner looking. So on this one, the refrigerator is on the other side of the kitchen and it doesn't have the desk extension. I'm not sure if the kitchen is the same size. I feel like it's maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, the reason for that is it, it just seems like the living room area is a little bit smaller. Not sure if it actually is. I didn't measure it. Uh, notice a, the fan that's above the sliding bar door going into the bedroom. So that's if you have your bedroom door shut, you can still get airflow. There's only one outlet for the mini split. They're restricted to only having a 20 foot run. So there's not too many places they can put that. So that helps keep the air circulated. And there's ceiling fans in both rooms also. 
This one does have the sliding door going outside. I think it makes the bedroom feel a little bit bigger. Uh, seemed like it was the bedroom was about the same size as the other one. And you can see that fan again there. This one also has these really cool LED lights built into the crown molding up on the ceiling and you can change the color of that. It also does have this really nice tile surround on the fireplace, gives it a little bit more elegant look. Match your TV above there and I think this would be pretty nice looking. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's only 320 square feet, not a whole lot to see. Stay tuned, I want to take you on their website and show you some of their financing options as well as some really cool modular homes that they offer as well. So I want to show you around their website a little bit. They do offer financing on these uh, for just about any credit situation, just about any type of income. You can apply, you can get an answer within a few seconds. And you can also finance in if you need money to help set up your home site. So if you needed a well, septic driveway, foundation, you get the electric hooked up, need to get things connected to public utilities, you can have that included in your loan. You can use that money however you need it. You can also include solar panels or wind power if you wanted an off-grid setup. And there's even an option you could do a composting toilet if you didn't have any uh, sewer access. Not sure how I feel about that being inside, but it's an option. And they do have a calculator up here. So just going off the uh, base model price for the container home, you can see this is quite a bit less than a one bedroom apartment would cost you. So if you already had a piece of land or you could pick up a really cheap piece of land, definitely an option for getting a uh, inexpensive house to live in and you could get this paid off pretty quick. I wanna show you the Viva boxes. And these are based on their shipping container technology. You can see the little picture down here. And they have a box for each room type. So there's like a living room box, a kitchen box, a bedroom box. And you can have these assembled in any shape you want. You can do one story, two story, a split floor plan, open concept, uh, whatever you want. So these are all pre-wired and pre-plumbed for electrical, sewer, water, air conditioning. So they're, they're pretty much ready to go. You just have to have them put together. I'll show you a few pictures of them. This is one of the smaller ones. It's like a studio. And you tell me that this one starts at around 35,000. This one has two boxes put together. It's got a bedroom, a small kitchen, and a bathroom. This one is a two bedroom. And you can see it's got a covered patio box also. So you can kind of see how the construction of this is. This one's a three bedroom, two story. It's got a really cool balcony that goes around it. This one's kind of a split floor plan. It's got the kitchen, the living room in the middle, and then the bathrooms and bedrooms on either side with the outdoor patio area. So there's there's tons of options for what you could do with these. I think it would be really cool if you had one of these set up with uh, solar and wind power. You could get a piece of land out in the middle of nowhere and be pretty self-sustaining with it. And keep going, they have more pictures. And here's some of the uh, inside of it. They're very nice looking inside. Uh, they, they don't look cheap. They look like they're very well built. I haven't been inside one. They don't have a model yet. And it's a really cool design here. So that's pretty much it for the Viva boxes. You can go down and it tells you some of the specifications of it. Um, it's really cool how they kind of modified the shipping container design to work with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time checking out these container homes at Uncontained Living, and thanks to the staff for having me out and let me take some video. If you want more information about these homes, please let me know, or if you're looking for some land to put your new home on, let me know also. I have a lot of listings in the Alvin area right now, or I can help you find something in whatever area you're looking to build in. Uh, you can contact me, 832-280-8340, and we'll talk to you soon.